Xbox upload and YouTube. What is going on? It's your boy HK Felix SOA right here to give you the Doom Easter egg, baby. That's right. I'm giving you the Doom backdoor Easter eggs. Basically, in every stage in the campaign mode, they have a backdoor linking to the old school classical Doom stage. And it's amazing. So with that being said, go on over to campaign, select your mission, and let's start this first one off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. All right, guys, let me start this off by saying, please actually watch the video, like, share, and comment. Let me know what you guys think, man, because I put a lot of work into this. And I'm a new YouTuber as well as I am new to the Xbox support team. But let's get to the Easter egg. You need two things to find this Easter egg and activate it. This crane here, which I'm pulling, you just pull it back, you hear a magical sound it means the door is open and once you open the back door you can enter it you see this remastered beautiful doom like it's classic it looks like super nintendo but at the same time we have the next gen monsters guns as you see i'm using the chainsaw and it just looks so amazing to know that this door is on every campaign map is amazing there's a locked door on all of them it, it's very exciting it's pandemonium and you know I actually decided on searching for these because I'm a big Easter egger you know saying I watch mr. waffles glitch queen etc and you know doing those type of Easter eggs motivated me to jump into these Easter eggs and with that being said when you open these doors man you get them permanently unlocked in the classic menu and let's head on over to the next section Level number two. All right, so in every map, we repeat the same steps. You find the locked door and, or you find the crane. Either or, when you find the crane, you'll find the locked door. But to be honest with you guys, in this map was the map that I actually found my first Easter egg. I knew nothing about them. I was just playing the game. I browsing around and searched and said, hmm, what's this lever? Like, I, you know, I didn't know what the lever did. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pull it anyways. Maybe it activates something. Maybe it's part of the story, I don't know. And when I hear this magical music, I'm, oh my God, like is this an Easter egg? Like Doom does not have Easter eggs in it because that sounds like an Easter egg. I browsed around a little more and I find a secret room. I'm like, oh my God, I think I'm the first person in the world to find this. So like I had to do my research, I did my research. I realized that I am the first in the world to find this actual Easter egg. So I just made it my business to quest all of them in every map of the campaign and find them just for you guys and show you that they're here you know like that they are available and they're all different and they look so awesome like you know they give you power ups they give you guns like they give you things that you may need to use you know that you will find later on but you get to use it early and you know with that being said let's head on over to the next one yeah we on map number three all right, guys, same concept. You find the door, and then you can find the crank, or you can find the crank, you can find the door. But with that being said, let me get into the fact that I did my research, and when I did my research, I realized that the creators of the game had an interview going on where they showcased the Easter eggs that they had put in the game. And this is the stage that they used to showcase it. It's the only one that they showcased. And as well, I found the first one on my own and then did the research to see if I was the first in the world and realized, hey, that they mentioned that they have it in every campaign map, that they have a back door. So with knowing that, that's when I took the initiative and said, hey, let me go ahead and knock this out and showcase to you guys, like, look at these old school graphics just remastered. You hear the music? Just, oh my God, it's just so epic. Let's head on over to the next one. Number four, let's go though. Same concept guys, same concept. Bear with me, find the door, find the crank. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips, man. Just remember, man, they're trying to hide these Easter eggs from us. They don't want us to know where they are. They'll camouflage like this crank by barrels and things that look normal. But I'm gonna give you guys more tips. Just use your map, press select. Once you cover an area, it turns blue. If you've not covered that area, go back and check it out. If you see the door, then find the crank in the area close by the door. The door is unlocked, you check it out, and bam, you've just unlocked yourself another classic map to your classic menu section when you play campaign. 
But that being said, as you can see here, they just showcase the poison room. You know, when you see those skulls on the floor, you can pick it up. That's green armor, obviously. You know, the, the green pellets that we already play with in the next gen system. Just little tricks like that, guys. Just pay attention to those things. And let's go to the next one. Fifth stage. Fifth stage. There's the door, guys. And you just wait for this robot to come out of the door. Once it comes out of the door, you jump on top of the robot. Go up to the crank. Pull it. Come back down. Wait till the robot comes back out again. And then you can walk into the doorway. Now, I'm going to just break it down a little bit for you guys, man. I put a lot of hard work into finding these five. I'm going to end this video on this fifth one because it's already about seven minutes. And, you know, I'm not trying to sit here and continue rambling. Uh, you guys get the concept. I'm trying to break down and show you guys as much as I can. You know, I want you guys to get out there and find them yourself as well. So I didn't go too deep into it. But I gave you guys enough information. You can find them, get them. With that being said, I played this map, I played all of it, actually, to be honest with you, on the hardest mode you can play it on. I'm not recommending you guys do that. I'm just saying that I played it on that mode, as well as finding the Easter eggs. So, you know, just share, like, let me know what you guys think. Um, if I'm doing something wrong, because I'm still new to this YouTube and upload thing. You know what I'm saying? Give me some, some pointers, guys. Help me out. As well as, you know, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Waffles. I follow him. You know, I've been doing blackout videos in the Xbox community because, you know, a lot of people out there don't really know what's going on. We have a big community in the Xbox. As well with that being said, I want to give Glitch Queen a shout out as well. I follow her. And, um, you know, my SOA family, all the supporters, everyone that rocks with me, I really appreciate it. I will be making a part two. And with that being said, HK, baby, I'm out. Let's go. SOAGaming.com